Hello, today we are going to solve the question number 37 from ISS 2019 paper 2. Here we are asked that x1, x2, x3 dot 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 xn be a random sample from a population with PDF f of x theta which is equals to 1 by theta e to the power minus x by theta where x is 0 to infinity and 0 otherwise. Therefore, the Kramer Rao lower bound to the variance of an unbiased estimator of theta whether it is theta by n or theta square or theta square by n or only theta. Now to find the CRLB or Kramer Rao lower bound, we need two things. One is gamma prime theta's whole square and another one is the information function or I theta. Here gamma prime uh, gamma theta or the parametric function is nothing but theta therefore gamma prime theta is equals to 1 and i theta is minus n del square del theta square ln f of x curve so first of all we need to find the joint density of these random variables that is f of x curve which is 1 by theta to the power n e to the power minus 1 by theta sum over xi where xi's are all positive as it is an exponential distribution. Now ln f of uh, uh, okay there is a problem if we write f of x curve then there is no need to write minus n there is only minus 1 required. So ln f of x curve is minus n ln theta and then we get 1 by theta sum over xi. Now del del theta ln f of x curve is minus n by theta and here we get 1 by theta square sum over xi. Del 2 del theta square ln f of x curve is n by theta square minus 2 by theta cube sum over xi. Okay. This must be the expected value of this. Therefore, expectation of del 2 del theta square ln f of x curve is n by theta square minus 2 by theta cube sum over expectation of xi. Now for this distribution expectation of xi is equals to theta as it is a exponential distribution with parameter 1 by theta therefore the expected value of xi is must be theta. So we get n by theta square minus 2 by theta cube multiplied by n theta which results in 2 by theta square. Therefore, the answer is minus n by theta square. So, i theta, which is minus expectation of del 2 del theta square ln f of x curve is equals to n by theta square. Therefore, the CRLB is 1 by i theta, which results in theta square by n. So the CRLB is theta square by n. Now we have to find whether the variance, no, uh, we just need to find the CRLB here. Therefore, the correct answer is option C, which is theta square by n. So option C is correct. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you very much.